here we're going to have to come back to the Phoenix. Welcome back to Worley Family Homestead. Well, today we got a few chores to do. We need to run to the feed store, get some more feed for the cows and the chickens. And we had a lot of rain here the other night. A big heavy downpour all of a sudden, and a lot of stuff got flooded out, the roads got flooded out. Also, that ditch down beside the pond over there, it kind of went way out of its banks, kind of got our fence kind of flooded out a little few places. So we're gonna go out today, and we're gonna check the fence line, make sure there's no debris on the fence. I hear it popping in a few places. So we're gonna go check the fences today and uh, see what else we can get done here today. Well, we had a change of plans. Uh, got the animals fed this morning. Got the truck out, getting ready to go to the feed store. And I stopped back by the barn just real quick to check on something and uh, Buck come running to me and uh, he had a little accident this morning. So I got the vet coming to see if we can take a look at him. I don't know if y'all can see this good or not right here because he's in the corner over there. But he has cut his nose on something and it's peeled the skin back. And uh, Got to call into the vet. We're going to see if we can get the vet out here to take a look, see if he's going to need stitches or not. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this camera down and I'm going to see if I can get that bleeding to stop before the vet gets back. And uh, I will update you on what, what it turns out.
after looking at Buck a little bit more, I noticed that I thought it was his tongue hanging out of his mouth, but no, it's actually his bottom lip. He has cut his bottom lip somehow. So when the vet comes up, we'll let her take a look at that and see what else she can do. But I got most of the bleeding stopped for right now, so he'll be okay. He's probably just hurting pretty good. But uh, when the vet comes back, we'll... I don't know if we'll be able to be there when you that or not, but uh, we'll show you what the aftermath is anyway. It's time for, um, what do you call it? West Nile. Yeah, West Nile and his shots again. I think I got a call yeah. to the other day. I didn't know if you wanted to do that while you were here. Or... That's going to be the other thing. Okay. I was going to make sure that he was up to date on his tetanus. Yeah, yeah I think we just got it in the mail. Yeah, I think it's like expires in September. But yeah. We can go ahead and do it. Okay. Bella, don't be getting stuck in it. Little babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you bet I picked one of somebody. Trying to <laughs> get as close as you can. <laughs> I'm scraping off some of the scabby stuff. I think he went to that millet field this morning and actually ran into the fence going into the field because the, the post he tore down was actually into the field and not, not back out this way so he must have been going in this morning. I don't know why he can't see those posts. Had flags on one time but that scared him more than anything else. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Waving in the wind. Mm -hmm.
Now, would those have to be taken out or would they just dissolve on the way? The uh, skin sutures will be taken out. Okay. Either we can come back and recheck them or okay. you guys are welcome to take them out. It should uh, just be a few quick snips. Okay. But we are happy to. I was trying to use your shirt right now. <laughs> I feel that little fuzzy face <laughs> on my back. <laughs> Looking at it. Yeah. Try holding the bag. Yeah. front of the shoulder mm -hmm. he's gonna be nice and perky halfway between top and bottom of the neck so right. this invisible triangle is where all the deep muscle is okay so I will you have somebody hold the head mm -hmm. I'll pinch a little bit go through the skin okay and then straight in the muscle all okay. the way to the hub of the needle and then pull back and check for blood it'll pull at the bottom okay if you get blood you just pull out and redirect so you do not want blood you do not want blood and you okay. want it deep good deal so you're gonna have two syringes okay they can go in the same general area You can drop his head. Uh oh, he knocked the drop beer design. <laughs> yep. He stumbled a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he okay. Up. okay, so you do not want blood in these shots. Do not want blood. Okay. Now, do I need to apply anything like that to him next day or two? Or um, just... So I'll give you the rest of this tub. I mean, okay. I don't know that he's going to let you mess with his lip too much. Right. Um, but yeah, you can put it on his face. Okay. Put it on. Okay. It's great All right. for animals, but not people. Okay. And then this is your butte. So it comes with a little scoop in here. Okay. Each scoop is a gram. So we're going to give two scoops by mouth once daily for three days. Okay. And then you can use the rest of your banamine for okay. the next two days. That works. And then official, like, unless you get concerned, you can always text or email us pictures. Okay. Um, and we would be happy to come and check them and take the sutures out in about 10 days. Yeah, I'll probably have y'all come do it because... That the bridge of his nose wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Honestly, the hardest part is seeing them. 
but yeah, you can go ahead and take that off. The lip is going to be a challenge. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help, guys. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's try to do a little work on the fence. I have come down and checked a little bit and I noticed that one of my knobs has been broken off again from all the flooding and the stuff that's been pushed up against it. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that one fixed. You can see this knob here has been pushed out again. They got a lot of debris on the fence line and actually right here's where the knob's supposed to be at. So let's see if we can't get this knob replaced and get this wire back where it's supposed to be and come back and try to get the rest of this stuff off the fence. So uh, make sure all the electricity is getting through it where it needs to be getting at. And uh, first off, let's go ahead and fix this part here first. Alright, that's back together now, so let's walk down the rest of this fence and see if we can get some of the debris off of it. Right 
well while we're out here checking the fence might as well come and visit the old cows this is their favorite midday hangout spot it gets so hot in the afternoons uh about midday that they come and hang around that old shade tree here and uh they really like hanging out down here laying around just taking it easy it's always important to check your fence lines um like i say you never know especially when you have a big heavy rain like we had the other day here and you got part of a fence that may be close to a stream or creek if it actually goes out of the banks you need to check your lines and make sure everything's good because uh fence was still working good but you can see all that debris that was on the bottom of it it does kind of keep it from working like it ought to and uh we'll make sure this fence stays hot so all the cows stay in where they're supposed to be and all the other critters stay out that ain't supposed to be in here so uh always check your fences and uh make sure they're good and tight and got anything hanging on them you need to take it off make sure to get in a good connection to the, to the electric fence box